So today I'm going to read you this book. This is a book called The Museum and it is a story by Susan Verde and the art by Peter H. Reynolds. The illustrations are by Peter H. Reynolds. The museum she is talking about is an art museum. I love art museums. When I see a work of art, something happens in my heart. I cannot stifle my reaction. My body just goes into action. This one makes me want to pose and stand up on my tippy toes. Art can make you feel things. Now I'm all twirly whirly, twinkly sparkly super swirly. She's taking notes. Whoo, exhausted, I'll take a breath. I can't wait to see what's next. Hmm, I think I'll analyze the thinking man. The who's, the what's, the where's, and why's. I'm starting to feel so sad and blue, heavy, lonely, through and through. I think she's taking on the feelings of the painting she's seen. I think I need something to eat. Those apples would be such a treat. The painting is making her hungry. I'm skipping through a field of flowers. I could keep this up for hours. Fragrant, soft, and so delightful. <gasps> Suddenly, it's all so frightful. This painting is called The Scream. I make silly faces at a guy. He did it first. I do not lie. That is a very funny looking picture, isn't it? Silly faces. Kind of mixed up, but you can tell it's a face. That's called abstract art. I'm giddy from all these lines and squiggles. I collapse in fits of giggles. Wait, what is this I see? Oh no, I wonder what it is. An empty canvas stares at me. It is empty, I wonder. Where is the color? What does it mean? It's the strangest art I've ever seen. Is this a joke? I shut my eyes and something happens to my surprise. I start to see things in my head. Yellow, blue, then green and red. Circles, lines, all kinds of shapes, faces, flowers, and landscapes. I open my eyes and look once more at the canvas that I saw before. It's mine to fill the way I choose. A purple dot, a pair of shoes, Zigzag lines, the deep blue sea, a portrait of my mom and me. No longer blank, blank, it's my creation. I am feeling such elation. She looks like she's ready to create. What a glorious time I've had. I've been scared, silly, mad, and glad. She did have all those feelings. The paints, the paintings that she saw, the artwork had made her feel different things. I'm energized from head to toe, even when it's time to go. The museum's closed for the night, but I know that it's all right. The rhythm exists in all I see. The museum, li muse me is <laughs> the museum lives inside of me. She's taking that with her because she saw all that art and it's in her head now. The end. Look at all those blank canvases. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of some art you can do on a blank piece of paper. Maybe use paints, maybe use markers. When you're done drawing your picture, whatever you imagine, send me a picture. Bye.